Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use the study price overlay study. And what this is going to allow you to do is to copy over different studies from another chart and overlay them onto another one. And so what this is really useful for and what I'm going to show you an example of is daily SMAs and EMAs and how you would copy that over onto a smaller time frame. And so you can overlay that and see where those locations are. So I have a five minute chart and a daily chart. So what we're first gonna to wanna to do is set up the study that we want in the daily chart. And so I'm gonna to go to analysis studies and I already have it here, but I'm gonna do a simple moving average and let's do a, let's do a 50, 50 day moving average. And then I'm gonna change this. I like it to be yellow. And I'm going to put a name here, 50 SMA, and then I'm going to check name label so it is showing the name label on the right edge, as you can see right here. So now that we have that set up, we're going to want to be able to overlay that onto here so we can see on the intraday chart where the 50-day moving average is. And so we're going to go up to analysis studies and then study price overlay. And so here it's right here. I'm gonna add this. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to settings and inputs and study to overlay right here. You're gonna see this is the two charts we have. So this is the one we're currently on, the five minute. And then there's this daily one right here, which is the one that we're gonna want. And then in this drop down, it's gonna show you all the studies on that chart. And so you can copy over any of them. In this case, we only have one which would be the 50 day moving average right here. And then after we have that selected, I'm gonna go here and switch this to yes on the always use short names from source study. So when I typed in 50 SMA and had that show, it's not gonna show unless you change this to yes. So now if I change the region to one, so it's on the main chart and I click apply, you can see now we have an overlay of the 50 day moving average. And so this is a good way to overlay different moving averages. And so you can see them on a smaller time frame. Obviously on this one, it is only updating every day since it's coming from the daily chart. As you can see, it's not gradual. It's kind of like a stair step as we're updating per day because it's based on the daily chart and the daily closes. Um, but you can do some pretty cool things with this copy from different time frames and different charts over into another one and that's about it.